In this video, we're looking at construction tree, which states a line perpendicular to a given line L passing through a given point on L. Okay, not the hardest of construction. Basically, what we want to do first of all is draw our line L. So with your ruler and a pencil, draw the line segment L. Okay, so a straight line on your page. Label it because they want it to be called L. And now what I'm going to do is, according to the construction, is that there is a point on that line L. So I'm going to label a point somewhere on that line. Doesn't matter where it is. And I'm going to call it P for a point. Okay, so that's um, my line L constructed and the point P constructed. Next thing I'm going to do now is take out my compass. With my compass, I'm going to sit it at the point P that I've constructed on the line L. And I'm going to draw an arc either side of the point P, okay, along that line L. Doesn't matter what the radius of your compass is, okay, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to lock in a sample radius there and I'm going to draw my arc, okay? So I'm just drawing my arc. You can draw the full circle if you wish, but the arc is just part of a circle. I'm then going to come to the other side of the point P and do the same with the same radius. So I'm drawing my arc on the opposite side of the point P. I now remove my compass and I'm going to label those two points um, A and B. You can label them whatever letters you want. So I'm now going to take out my compass again. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw arcs from the point B and A. So the one thing you have to remember is, so let's say I start over here at the point B, just to make sure that the radius of your compass now changes to a length beyond the point P. So it must be greater than halfway. Okay, so you have to change your radius in this construction to further than halfway. Okay, and lock in your compass. And then I'm going to draw an arc either above the line or below the line. It doesn't matter. I'm maybe just going to draw it uh, in this question below the line. So I'm just going to move my compass down and I'm going to draw my arc here. So it can either be above or below. I'm just constructing it below. Okay, so you can see that that's the arc from the point B. I'm now going to bring my compass over to A and do the exact same thing. Make sure that the radius of your compass does not change. And I'm going to swing around my compass. Don't need to draw it yet. But now I'm going to set in my compass and I'm going to intersect those arcs. So you can see here that I'm constructing my second arc and it is intersecting the first arc. I can now remove my compass and I'm going to take out my ruler now. And I'm going to sit my ruler at the point P, which they gave us originally. And I'm going to draw a straight line through the point P where it meets the point where my two arcs intersected. So with my pencil now, I'm going to draw a straight line through P through the point where my two arcs intersected. And that is basically the construction finished. If we recap the title of our construction, they wanted us to construct a perpendicular line to the line L. And that's basically what we've done there. Remember that perpendicular means it creates 90 degree angles. So I've created a 90 degree angle here, here on four sides of my line L. Make sure and leave all your lines and your rough work um, for the examiner to see. So that's construction three. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.